Welcome back to my channel guys. What's up? Today we're here with Ali Pearl here. Yes, first time trying out this company and I love the fact that I can give you variety guys. I'm giving you options for 2020, okay? Because it's a 2021 and uh, we say touch road, alright? That doesn't mean that it's 2021 before we touch road. I, I personally don't know when we're going to touch road again. But I'm just trying to give you guys a little, you know, a little something, something to look forward to at least. So your girl is trying. She's trying to give you options. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, and listen, guys, I'm going to need the box like this. The box is not me do it like this, okay? This is how I got the box, not from Ali Pearl. Let me put it out there. If you guys don't know, I'm in Jamaica and this has to go through a bunch of processes, okay? It's 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 for a ship to America and then from America to Jamaica because if you don't know, I have to use a third party address, a shipping company in order to get my packages here. And I guess somewhere along the line while it was being shipped and stuff with customs officers checking it and everything i guess you know things got a little you know rowdy and the box just kind of get away so <laughs> that's just a little story on that this is how i got the box so today we're working with some inches a little bit of information is on the bag i love it when they put a little info on the bag give me a little insight you know first thing that pops up to me before i get to the hair just to reassure me that okay this is what I ordered, right? Okay, cool. So, um, this wig that we're working with today is 26 inches. This is Ali Pearl. It's 100% on processed human hair. That's what it says here on the bag. Okay, before we jump into this, I need to show you guys what else is in the box first, right? So, I don't know. Today, I don't know. The vibe is a little different here. I don't know. Oh, I got one of these. I love collecting these brush. You can't have too much of these brush these are the edge brushes they're so convenient makes life way easier love these yes have extra elastic band i have a wig cap and i have a little drawstring bag wow this is the second one that i'm getting okay not a fan of pink but this will do because this is what i'm gonna store the wig in i love the feeling of it a 1b color the lace doesn't look bad it's like a light brown color definitely a light brown color um we got combs on the inside only three i know some people don't like combs you don't have to use them if you don't like them you have adjustable straps in the back and you can always sew on the extra elastic band if you want more security within the cap itself and yeah that's pretty much it for how the wig is constructed it comes with layers really really nice i love when they do layer the wigs don't always get wigs that are layered so i'm really happy about that um over time i feel like i might put some color to this hair i don't know you guys just gotta stay tuned but um today the focus though that i want to do this is a next beginner like friendly video i've been getting requests because i guess since i've done a few beginner friendly wig video since recently you guys are throwing it all out here and i love that i really do like talk to me i want you to talk to me because i really do try to respond and do as much um of the requests that i get um for my videos it really does help me um so today i'm going to be doing a detail plucking tutorial no for <laughs> over the long period that i've been wearing wigs you guys always see a little bit of me plucking my wigs here and there and even if i did do a even if i did a plucking tutorial i don't i can't recall if i ever did a beginner's plucking tutorial so that is what this video is all about today and without further ado without any further rambling we'll just go ahead and put the wig on the mannequin it all right all right I forgot to mention to you that this is Ali Pearl's 3D Lace. This is designed to like fit your head better and be more comfortable. It's a 13 by 6 parting. I know I mentioned in a previous video to you guys that the recent wigs are coming with like pre plucked lace, right? But for some people, this is fine. And if you want to go ahead 
and wear it as is like this it's fine it looks pretty good but if you notice sometimes there is like a line that's here like right here behind it's like they fade a certain portion of the hairline here they, they have a certain measurement that they work with in the front here but sometimes for me personally i go in and i take out what they've already plucked and i focus on graduating the area behind that portion a little bit more because look at it now it's a straight line for some of us we do baby hairs and sometimes you might take out you might end up like you know um plucking out some of this area just to make your baby hair a little bit more um realistic if you understand what i'm saying and when you part that out now and you're supposed to slip back this part there's no graduation you understand what i mean i hope you guys are following so what we're going to focus it on is this area behind what comes pre-plucked not all of us wear the hair push back completely like this for some people yes and that's really nice that finessing is so good but for some of us we want more graduation part of this area right here in the front i usually start plucking from the side um this is a quick tip by the way you see if you're going to wear your hair in a center part don't ever pluck the parting area basically anywhere that you want to part any parting that you want to make whether side or middle part don't pluck the parting like the front of the parting um because it's going to look like a little ball spot area and it's just not cute you know it's not cute <laughs> it sheds it actually increases shedding over time so more hair end up shedding out and it just doesn't look good you want to ensure you have a good pair of tweezers because that's basically another the, the main tool that you'll be using throughout this you want to ensure you have a tweezer that clamps down pretty pretty you know easily and is very precise with its hold it doesn't really matter which side you want to start plucking from first it's important to keep the extra lace on it makes life way easier when you have to go in and pluck them so i basically go in random places behind the hair line like even the line that we're seeing here i go behind it and just start pulling at random areas like random areas within the wig and i'm also careful you'd want to ensure you're not picking up or you're not plucking on the lace itself because that can create holes and really damage it and i mean that has happened to me in the past because sometimes i end up i'm only going at this speed so you guys can see what i'm doing exactly but i pretty much take my time and go like down just keep on going down it's kind of harder to explain than watch but i really really want you guys to get what i'm saying okay <laughs> don't stay in one area too long that can cause over plucking trust me sometimes just give it a few plucks step back look and just realign your focus because that really helps i've been in situation where i was just in one area too long and before i know it i have a whole bald spot but I, you know I, you know i managed to finesse it for sure i used to wet the hair but i mean pretty much once you have a good tweezer you don't necessarily have to do it but it does help especially for a beginner you know you can go in and spritz the area you know with some water and it helps um to just make um the hair strand easier to grip so already you can see the graduation that's being created here with the tweezer i think i'm gonna put a pause on that area with the plucking i feel like it looks really good so far this this is the amount of hair that i've received from that area so far me personally i go crazy for a beautiful hairline like
literally it i must i can't stress how much you guys need to practice enough like practicing is so important because i didn't get it all at first um but if it's one week that you have it's the if it's the first week that you have and you've never done this before i suggest just taking your time listen and watch what i did carefully and trust me you have to you have to get it believe me and believe in yourself okay because it's really over time it's like a pizza cake honestly it's like second nature <laughs> it's lit <laughs> basically <laughs> so all i'm gonna do right now i'm just gonna give the hair some nice luscious curls not nothing too precise just gonna wind it up and stuff but before i do that i want to kind of do my sing my side part here because as i said before that's what i'm doing today Yes, I decided to do a little something, something with my lip color today. I wanted to red because I feel like it would just make the vibe, you know, pop. So I'm just going to, I wanted up the hair, just give it some soft curls. Nothing you have never seen before. After all, the focus of this video was really to get um, a very detailed, get, get very detailed in terms of plucking, you know, your frontals. So is what we did i'm just unraveling this it feels pretty good it looks pretty good the meltdown was pretty nice i feel like i can probably pronounce the parting a little bit more i'm gonna get up in a minute so you guys can see where this catches me look at that it's all the way down past my waist that's pretty nice that's pretty much it for today's video i really hope this video was informative to you guys i am loving the look of this wig it feels so good like it really really feels really good i really love it and it's so long definitely inches well you did it you did it i hope it wasn't too complicated for you guys i really hope it wasn't i really hope it helped you out if this was the first time or if you're just trying to you know get better at plucking i really hope it was informative enough and it really helped you guys out also if you're interested in getting this gorgeous 
wig for yourself then go ahead the link is in my description box so you can go ahead and check it out also the specifications on the hair so check that out you can go ahead and purchase if you like um yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it for today's video if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumb up um leave your suggestions for other videos down below it doesn't matter if it's hair related or not you know if you want to I don't know anything, anything at all that you want me to show you guys here. Let me know and you know, your girl will try and bring it to you because that's what I do. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I really, really am feeling this look. guys, And I'll see you in the next one. So until then, go on, big up on a nice clean self. <laughs>